As the film, The Sand, starts, we see that it is late at night. Some friends are on the beach. They had a great time there. Some were singing and others were dancing. Some were playing games. Meanwhile, they discover a massive and strange object. They begin to mock it while also causing damage to it. They don't know what is inside it. What actually the thing is. After enjoying, they all get tired. They sleep in their cars. They all wake up one by one in the morning. Marsha is the name of one of the girls. She was sleeping on the table. Her condition worsens as she awakens. She vomits. They're all thinking it's because of the road. Marsha was having a strange feeling. A girl sees a bird sitting on the sand there. That bird was perfectly fine. However, the sand begins to absorb it. As it were a deep bow, the girl becomes worried. She tells her friend Marsha not to put her feet on the sand. There is a risk. But before Marsha can listen to her, she has stepped on sand. Her shoes were sinking into the sand. She tries to take out her foot. But she couldn't pull it off. She was about to move her foot out with her hands. Because of it, her hands were also absorbed in the sand. She becomes terrified and begins to scream. How can her friends come to her aid when they are also trapped? None was understanding what should they do. When one of Marsha's friends sees her condition, he gets out of his car. He doesn't listen even everyone forbids him. He falls as he walks on the sand. He grovels and is stuck with the sand. He tries to pick up himself, but his skin also stuck with the sand. The sand has injured his body. His friends start the car in order to assist their friend. But their car also doesn't start. Meanwhile, the boy's friend throws a rope at him. However, the boy was no longer in a position to hold the rope. Sadly, within a short time his all body goes inside the sand. What can others do except for seeing him going inside the sand? They are all frightened and actually plan to escape as soon as possible. Jonah is the name of the boy who was sitting in the driver's seat of the car. He again tries to start the car. But he couldn't do this. Then we see a healthy man who is in a drum. When he was about to move, his friends told him not to. If you move and fall, the sand will take you with it. Are you kidding me? Says the man. He hasn't seen anything with his eyes. He was sleeping and was feeling pain. He starts moving. Someone will come to help us into ours, according to a boy. We have called, and if you stay here, they'll come and get us. Please pay attention to what I am saying so the man agrees. Even there was nothing like this. No help was on the way. They they all were stuck. Marsha's friend informs them that they all partied on this beach the day before. Why the sand wasn't affecting us yesterday? Were there other people where they went? They guess those people also went into the sand. They are not, however, stuck in the sand because they were not directly on the sand. They were in their cars or at a high place. Meanwhile, the healthy man starts screaming again. He claims that the sun's rays irritate him. His friend hurls sunscreen at him and says apply it you will feel good. He feels better after using it. They see the thing which they find at night. They harmed it at night when it was not visible. That big thing was an egg and they made a big mess while breaking it. It was divided into two pieces. It means that whatever was inside it had to have come out. Maybe the creature that came out from the egg lives in the sand. That creature is taking them inside the sand. Marsha's friend throws something towards the sand. The sand also takes that thing inside it. And they come to know the creature is inside the sand. We can't do anything thing. According to Jonah, we have to take a step for ourselves. He picks up a skateboard and tries to walk to the table on it. He walks on it successfully but as he reaches near the table, the skateboard was slipping. His feet were also slipping. As he slipped, he came dangerously close to the sand. Due to it, something comes out of the sand and touches his belly. But Jonah doesn't get nervous. He immediately climbs up to the table. There was a bag of snacks. He finds a banana from bag. He starts wanting after eating it. As he sees his belly there were many wounds. It was done by the thing that emerged from the sand. They all get panicked after seeing this. Jonah tells them, this is nothing. Just think about your safety. With it, he throws drinks towards them. So the thirsty one can drink them. Then Jonah feels pain in his stomach. His wounds were also bleeding. His friend becomes sad and starts weeping. Jonah says to her, don't cry, we are all strong. Jonah lay down there. In the meantime, a girl in the car says to them, our mobile phones are in the boot of the car. We have to take them so that we can call for assistance. No one wants to take the chance that the car's boot won't open while they're sitting here. A girl says I will do it. She goes and opens the boot but it doesn't open. She goes to the other side. A black-haired girl hand over her a piece of cloth. So she may hold it tightly and may not fell on the sand side. But still, she can't open the boot of the car properly. Jonah's friend then forces her to hold a rod. She asks her to try it. Finally, the girl opens the boot of the 
the car. But they see someone is coming. He was the place's supervisor. It means he was in charge of the beach petrels. They all saw him, as did the girl who had opened the boot. Her fingers are stuck in the boot. It means the boot was closed. She screams, and they all try to summon her. However, the supervisor claims this new generation does strange things after using drugs. They all tell him we are in trouble. He parks his car near them, and was about to get out. They all scream don't put your foot on the sand. When the man comes out they all get shocked that the sand has no effect on him. At first, he goes to Jonah. He gets shocked after seeing his belly. Who has done all this? Following that, he attempts to pull the healthy man from the drum. But his weight was too much for him to bear, and he couldn't do it alone. He says I will call my team in a short time. They will rescue all of you from here. But I don't understand what are you doing here. Jonah's friend tries to tell him everything. She informs him our friend's fingers have become entangled in the boot of the car. The supervisor goes to her but doesn't help her. Jonah's friend starts shouting. The supervisor approaches her and asks, Why are you misbehaving with me? What's the problem with you? She says, Aren't you seeing we are in trouble? We can't come on the sand. The sand has already swallowed our two friends. The supervisor says, Don't drag me in these games. How am I standing on the sand if there is something like this? Come down immediately. But Jonah's friend and her friend didn't come down because they know they can lose their life. The supervisor pulls out his gun and his keys fall to the sand as well. They all forbid him from putting his hand in the sand. When his hand touches the sand to pick up his keys, he doesn't listen. The sand stuck his hand with it. The supervisor had the pepper spray and sprays it on the sand. But it was useless. The creature has taken his half hand with it. The hand of the supervisor cuts. His hand was bleeding and he starts screaming. Jonah's friend picks up the pepper spray as he exits. Maybe it can help us to defeat the creature. The supervisor completely falls on the sand. In a short time, the sand takes him inside it. Jonah's friend talks to her companion in the cabin. They understand the sand wasn't hurting the supervisor. Because he wears strong shoes that look like towels, it denotes fibers. The boy says to his companions, throw towels at me. We will tie them with our feet and can move from here. When his companions throw towels at him while catching them, he falls from the cabin. He falls down many things like roots come out of the sand. They may be the tentacles of the creature. They stuck with his body and start sucking his blood. The same thing happens to him as it does to the others. It means he disappears somewhere in the sand. It was a bad incident for his friends. The black-haired girl starts weeping while putting her hands on her ears. Everything will be fine, Jonah's friend assures her. She asks her to place the grill straight here. She adds another grill and then leaps from the cabin into the car. As she comes into the car, she slaps the black-haired girl because it was her plan to come here. This, however, was not her fault. They try to take out the fingers of the girl from the boot of the car. They succeed. Jonah's friend ties a towel on her hand. On another side, the healthy man is shown, who was upset because he was stuck in the drum. His body starts swelling because it was stuck in it. It also starts bleeding. When the blood flows into the sand, some tentacles come out of the sand. They come to know there is a human. Maybe they will attack the healthy man. On another side, those girls make a way. While joining the grills from the car to the table, the black-haired girl goes to Jonah, the girl whose fingers were stuck in the boot. She asks Jonah's friend to leave because her hand was bleeding. If it will fall on the sand, the creature will attack us. Jonah's friend finds him. In the end, the girl with the injured fingers walks on the grill. When she reaches the end, her hand starts bleeding. The blood drop falls on the sand. The creature comes out. When she sees it, the girl becomes terrified and loses her balance. She also falls in the sand. The sand absorbs her completely. The healthy man's blood was flowing from the drum on the other side. Those tentacles attract him and climb up the drum. We see the black-haired girl who starts walking after tying many towels around her feet. The sand doesn't affect her. She was overjoyed and she was now standing in the supervisor's car. When he saw her, the healthy man became happy and began to enjoy himself. They will come out of the place soon, but he has no idea those tentacles have emptied his drum from the bottom. Those tentacles grew up and stuck with his body. They take him inside the sand. He also dies because of it. This creature becomes big because it has eaten many people. Its tentacles were also become strongest now. It approaches the supervisor's car and moves it. The black-haired girl falls on the car because of it. When her head hits the car, she gets faint. Jonah's friend was left alone. Others were in worse shape. Someone's stomach was hurt and someone fainted. She becomes terrified and the night appears. As the night appears, the black-haired 
girl comes to her senses. She places an air tub there, from which he transports Jonah to the car. When Jonah's friend was also coming behind them, the creature shuts the door of the car with its tentacle. The surprising thing was the tentacles of the creature were glowing. It was emerging a blue light. Jonah's friend doesn't lose courage. She comes upside the car and sees there is a gasoline can near her. The creature holds the can and it wasn't sparing it. Without wasting time, Jonah's friend picks up the other cane. She sprinkles the gasoline around the car. As a result, some gasoline falls on the creature, which she then sets on fire. As a result, the creature's tentacles catch fire. It begins to yearn and Jonah's friend rushes inside the car. She locks the door. The creature tries to open the door because of burning the strength of the monster decreases. Soon it absorbs in the sand. It was too late at night and they were exhausted and terrified. They sleep in the car. Someone knocks on their car mirror in the morning. He was looking like a police officer. When Jonah's friend comes out and sees, places her feet on the sand, her feet don't absorb in the sand. With it, the black-haired girl also comes out. They move from there. The creature has died because of burning last night. There was peace in the sand and wasn't any movement. Jonah dies because of wounds. It was a sad moment. However, in the final scene of the film, we learn something shocking. That the creature did not perish. It is still alive and somewhere in the sea. Now, its target is the city. This is where the movie comes to an end.